Hello farmers, welcome back to Green Mountain Forest. We are in the afternoon hours now of the last day of fall. And some things have been improved and been done. So let's bring you up to date, shall we? Um, this area is, well, uh, if you don't remember, well, it's bigger. Uh, and we got a bigger opening to said quote-unquote future field. Um, all the stumps and logs now have been removed from out of here. Uh, as you can also see, the money's up to $115,000. That's because, well, I've been selling the logs. Uh, that's where the money's coming from. But I've also spent some cash as well, and I'll show you what's been going on. But I'm just trying to make sure all the logs uh, or the stumps are cleared out of here. So I'm not the only one that's been busy over here this morning. Shane came over this morning with his crew. And Elaine's house is in place. Uh, she'll be moving in probably today, I'm sure, at some point. Also, I brought some lamp posts over, or electrical company came and put some street lamps up so Elaine can have some power. Some street lamps going from here to the corner. And also, cut down the trees for the future road that she can now put in. So, when, for her placeable, so we can buy seed, fertilizer, and all that fun stuff. Uh, like she said, she probably won't put it down till like late winter, early spring. That's when most farmers will probably want the uh, the uh, material, which makes perfect sense. So I do need to make probably a little bit bigger of an area, just so when people come through, um, they just have more of an area to to, uh, to gather what they need. It needs to be a little bit wider. And actually, I see a tree stump right over here. There we go. I have bought some equipment as well. Not expensive stuff, but stuff that we're going to need shortly. Because our grass is still fermenting in our silo. I think it's uh, the upper 80 percentile or lower 90 percentile last time I looked at it. So we will be getting cows this afternoon. I've already told Cletus to bring them on over. Cletus does not uh, usually sell cows. He does mostly the sheep, uh, and he's from Hazard County. But uh, since uh, we're dealing with him, he decided uh, he would cut us a deal. And uh, he would go get, get the cows himself and deliver them for us. So we should expect them sometime this afternoon. And once we get them, we'll have to feed them pretty soon. Because it is season. So, yeah, I got, some, I got all the equipment I think I need to go ahead and feed them. I've been to the store... Like I said, I bought some uh, a couple of things, and I also have brought everything back to the farm, so we're all set to go. So yeah, so Elaine's all set. Her all well, her business will be will be coming around soon. Still a little piece of a stump there. Yes, it is. Try to take care of all the stumps that I can. So today, I'd also like to be able to pay off $100,000 off our loan to bring it down to an even three quarters of a million dollars. But right now, the farm is actually making a profit even with the loan because we're making enough money with all the placeables that we have down. Like I said, we're making about $1,000 an hour. So almost $24,000 a day from doing, well, I, don't, I hate to say it, but doing nothing. And there's that stump in the road I kind of have missed. Perfect. There, I'm done grinding stumps for a while. So yeah, I did see I still have a trailer of logs to bring up. So not a bad little uh, road that can go in the future, but need to probably cut down another row of trees to make it a little bit wider. And also the landscaping company has been here and planted down some trees. So we got mostly uh, maple trees and one oak tree here. And, uh, oh, it's nice to see kind of like different colors of trees, isn't it? Uh, so now we know fall is actually here. I was actually kind of curious if this map, and I kind of forgot if it was purely seasons ready, and I do believe it is because I think it was the maple trees that were causing some problems when seasons came out, but uh, that, that they're showing pretty good there. So, yeah, so now we got some colorful trees in the front. Uh, I thought about putting down the white picket fence down the front, but I'm not sure. I, I placed a couple, and I'm not quite sure I like the way it looks, so... Um, right now, we're going to go forego the pick of fences in the front. All right, so now as we get back to the farm here, there's our Case International. Uh, he's been a little busy. So, yeah, there's the uh, straw, shred straw shredder. Yeah, I can say it. Uh, so that's back here, ready to go. 
we have a bucket now because I need a bucket to fill the silage into the silo king. This uh, this little bucket here will hold 6,000 liters, believe it or not. I did move that hay bale that was over here onto here because I went and bought, well, I purchased straw bales. Haven't got them yet. They're still at the store. That's about the only thing I haven't got yet. Um, the sheep, well, the sheep are still sheep. Uh, I replanted the grass in the pasture here. I thought I did that, but the way the grass looked, I'm like, did I do that or did I not do that? So hopefully this grass here will feed the sheep, but I may not know that now until probably <laughs> next next spring because uh, winter approaches. Uh, we I, I decided to go ahead and buy a wool pallet, reusable, 10,000 liters. So when they start making wool, um, I know it's only four sheep, but um, we'll see how fast they can fill it up. But sometime next year, our sheep are going to double. And let's come on down here to the silage silo just to see how this is fermenting along here. Uh, well, it is just about ready, so that is good news for us. Uh, yeah, it's hard to see how many liters of silage you got when it's fermenting because it doesn't tell you which kind of sucks. Um, if you also look at the forecast that we have, right now it's cloudy, but snow is approaching. So, yeah, I would like to go ahead and cut the grass and bale it up and probably put the bales under cover. Um, but am I, am I really, really ready for that? I don't know. Uh, but one thing I do know is I need to go pick up the straw bales because we will need that when the cows arrive, which will be shortly. So let's go ahead and grab our bale spike, which is right around here. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything else. Not really, I don't believe. Yeah, that should be pretty much brought you up to speed here. What's been going on this morning. So the community is slowly coming together. Uh, I have kind of wondered about the silo, and I think I may need to cut down a few more trees where the silo is going to go as well, just to give us a little bit more room. But I probably need to put a, like a street lamp on that side of the road for Elaine's business. So we get the, uh, the electric, electrical company back here and probably install a few more light posts. Street lamps. Right now we're on our way to the store, and the snow has arrived. And it's now really raining. Uh, so it started snow. Now it's rain. But I mean, the temperature's 34, so it's, it's going to be one of those kind of days. Huh? I should have known that when I was uh, cutting the trees up. I was having some issues as well. I'm like, oh, it's going to be kind of like one of those days, right? Yes, it is. So just as I brought you back, I thought, well, I'll have time to cut the grass and... And bale it up because I'm, I'm I don't know if we can do this I don't know if I can put the grass bale in the silage pit and then when I cut it open is it gonna immediately turn like the quote-unquote chaff or is it not gonna work at all but we're gonna give it a go hopefully uh, now I just want to wait for the rain to stop because the problem is yeah I can mow the grass in the rain but the grass is gonna start decomposing really fast because it's raining out so We'll see if we can hold it off. And really, I don't, I can't, I don't, I don't think I can put the chaff in the silage pit with silage in there. So that's, it's, it's like a double-edged sword. So I may not even be able to do it at all because where do I put the silage? I'm not going to be able to use all that silage, I don't think. Well, that was interesting. Poof, popped me right off those bales, didn't it? Uh, but they're in there, so <laughs> they're good to go. Well, my next step was going to be to mow the grass, but now that it's raining out, um, I'll have to put that off on hold. So I think what we're going to do is, well, we got a load of logs to sell, so let's go ahead and sell those. And maybe on the way down, we'll swing past uh, the carton factory just to see what's going on, because I haven't been down there at all today. So, yeah, the last time I was there is when I filled up the, uh, the water tanker down there with you guys so i don't know i have i haven't seen no messages pop up that is full empty what have you so you know wouldn't be a bit surprised if i missed it and actually it's good i'm getting in the truck right now because the truck as you can see is filthy so hopefully the rain will wash it off a little bit as we go along yep this is looking pretty good in through here but like i said i probably need to take out more trees on the left or maybe i should talk to elaine and shane just to see exactly what kind of um holding tanks and whatnot they're going to put down see how much space they need 
so maybe I'll give them a call later on. Uh, that that might be a winter project. So I'm, you know, as for the first winter, I hope we don't get too much snow. But in the future winters, I hope we get. I don't want to say a lot of snow, but. And that's the other thing. I I have to maintain these roads. These roads are ours. Um, so if we get enough snow, I'm going to have to go ahead and remove the snow out of these roads so people can get to work like down to the sawmill and down to the carton factory and I almost forgot to swing into the carton factory let's just come on down here well there's still this, there's smoke coming out of it so that's a good sign that it's still running um, looks like we might be starting to get full of paper usually when I get five cartons or, or five pallets of paper it's probably going to get, get assembled pretty soon that it, it's kind of full. Might be something uh, we have to come down later on with the Case International and the pallet. Um, well, that's not actually a pallet fork. I think it's actually to lift bags up. Uh, so what do you want to call it? The straps. We'll just lift up with the straps. Let's just say it that way. So, yeah, I may have to come down here and sell those. Uh, when it comes to selling the pallets, I just go ahead and sell them. I don't, the pricing is not going to matter too much as far as I'm concerned since we're only talking about pallets that sell be between 200 and 240 but maybe I should check it to make sure they're not dropping more or less <laughs> I don't want them dropping below 200 so a little bit extra cash oh whoop got a few extra logs there we go now the truck is starting to look a little bit better yeah, I need to rebuy the pressure washer uh, sprayer because the last time I used it, I didn't make sure that it was on the ground before I put it down and it disappeared. Even though it shows in the garage I still have one, I don't know where it is because it just disappeared. Yeah, the truck is looking a little bit better. Well, on the way back to the farm, I noticed my money went down. And I came down to check, and yes, the cows have arrived. So if we go into our animal dialogue for seasons uh, in our cow pasture, you can see we got two sailors, two Holsteins, two limousine, and two Ashire cows. Um, did that say they need they require 43,000 liters of food per year? All right. Um, so first things first, I want to make sure, let's give them some water. I turned the speed down to times one because I, I, I don't know how... <laughs> How fast their health will decrease by not having any food so let's make sure that nope uh, this one here there we go it shows the water fill level is going up that's great that that animal pen extension will reach that far that's pretty neat I see water and yes it is filling it up so there they go um, how's it look in the back side here kind of weird when I say that not a big pen for them to walk around, but uh, it'll do. It'll do. Um, so, yeah, let's get them some, some bedding, some food, all that. So, yeah, so 43,000 liters of, uh, excuse me, 45,000 liters of silage. So, yeah, I don't think cutting the grass over at the field is going to be something I'm going to be able to do. I mean, I can cut the grass. I can make grass bales. I'm not going to be able to make hay. Not a chance. So, I mean, I can make grass bales and stack them in here. Because so I'm not going to be able to put them into the silage pit. But with that being said, I want to get going right on these uh, these cows here. So, let me go ahead and, let's see, we'll put this here for now. That I don't need. So, we're going to give them the bedding first. And then we'll dip right into the Totemix ration. So, it's been a while since I used this thing. Lift it up. You're on the ground. That's why you can't turn. There we go. If I remember correctly. Put that down. I think there's a bale spike in this thing. I mean, the only time I used this was on Ravenport. So that goes back over a year ago. So... Is there not a bale spike in this?
that detached my front loader didn't want to do that so no bail spike I thought that had a bail spike in it all right well no problem I uh, got that out so let me we'll grab our bail spike which is facing that way I probably could just pick up the bail but we'll try doing it this way Hopefully, I think I turned the auto loader off by doing that, I think, he says. I just want one straw bale. Actually, auto loader is on, but that's fine. I only grabbed one. Let's go ahead and put this into here somehow. A little finicky how that goes but uh, it went and let's pop this down here and it's been a while since I actually even made total mix rations in a mixer so I gotta remember the ratio but I think the mixer will tell us how we're going along there all right so I don't know if the bale's actually gonna stay in there And this is where the weight's also going to come in handy. Uh, I think the bale wants to fall out. Stay in there. All right, this is where I'm going to use the lift anything mod. <laughs> I'm not going to get that all back up. So that really locks in there. That really locks in there. Wonderful. All right. Well, it shows it in there. So what side is this going to spit it out on? I think it wants to spit it out to the left. And I'm not sure where I need to do the straw, but why do I got a feeling I got to go inside the barn on this one? And I really need to smooth out the land around here, I think. Some more landscaping details I need to take care of. Excuse me, ladies and fellows, coming in. Is that cow trying to escape? I think it is. Um, so where? It says unload here. I don't want to unload here. There should be a straw trigger somewhere, right? All right, so you know what helps? Make sure you put... <laughs> I was on the wrong instrument, apparently. So, yeah, now we're in the right zone. Turn that on. Is it... Uh, did I unload? Oh, that's uh, rather interesting. I don't remember being it like that. But uh, it's all good. I was really expecting it to be shooting on out here. So the cows... Oh, so the cows are getting grass from their pasture. So they got food, which is good. Uh, so they got plenty of straw, plenty of water. All right, so that, that's all working now. I think there is a bale spike in there. I just forgot how to grab it. I do believe. I could be wrong. But I thought there was always a bale spike in there. Alright, let's see if that... Was that bale going to stay in there now? Or is it going to actually... Can it still fall out? No, it can still fall out. Fine, I'll use it. I'll just put it in the total mix rations mixer. If I have to, I will. You know what? Bale, just fall off. Just fall off. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Uh, 
Oh, the bail spike is on the front. Okay. Alright. So I was hooked to the bail spike. I thought it was on the side. A lot of you were probably screaming at the screen saying, Hey, doofus, it's on the side. I'm like, uh, the side you're on? I'm like, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, so let's put down the wood chipper because we don't need that. Now let's back in and grab our Total Mix Rations Mixer. Alright, so there's all the ingredients that we need. Let's just bring this right on down to here. I think it's one straw bale to two hay bales, is that, if I remember correctly? So instead of using the, the straw bale we just did, we're going to grab one full straw bale. Probably should have angled that a little bit better, but it's all good. So this will make 60,000 liters of silage. So basically, if I make a full container, that should be good enough for the year for the cows, right? Alright, so I want to grab two hay bales, I believe. So one hay bale, the darker green one, is the one we bought from from Dwayne a while ago, and the lighter green one is the ones we made from cutting the grass around, I don't want to say our fields, but our areas. And there we go. So let me just double check what's going on in here. That should be good. I got too much straw in there, but obviously when I start putting in the silage, um, it'll be a perfect mixture. So he says, let's drive this down around here, and then we'll grab our Case International, put the bucket on, and then we can feed our cows. Yeah, so I'm definitely not going to use enough silage to get rid of the bunker completely. So for me to cut the grass over where our other fields are going to go, I won't have no place to put it and the grass is going to decompose. And of course you can't sell grass on season. Well, you can, you can, you can bring it places, uh, but you're not going to get no money for it whatsoever. There we go. Put this straw bale away. So it cost me twelve hundred dollars for it was twelve hundred. I think no, I think, I think it was actually eighteen hundred dollars for the, the three straw bales. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this right in here. Try to keep the other shed kind of clear because uh, yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting more and more equipment, and uh, it's getting harder to, to uh, put things places. And the bale spike makes perfect sense to put it where the bales are, right? So let's go down here with our bucket. Uh, I got to be careful because this is a 6,000 liter bucket. So I think one bucket might be close to what we need. Right, so how does this tractor handle 6,000 liters? This one handles it pretty well. problem is, if I mix up this mixture, I only got bales. I don't have, like, loose straw and grass or loose, loose straw and hay sticking around just to add more or less. 
Um, that mixture is pretty good. I could actually put a little bit more silage in there. But, um... Yeah, there really is no need to, really. Uh, yeah, because I don't want to screw up the mixture. So let's go ahead and we'll just feed the cows with what we have. And they shall be happy. Should be this one right here, right? Um, how about if I tip that way, that way? Or do I need to go... Wait, where is their feed trough? That's the water trough. Hello. Nice magic trick. Uh, where, I just realized, where's the feed trough? Well, I will say this. The trigger for this is really finicky. So, yeah, I finally found it's actually right there. I guess it just wasn't close enough. Wait, tip side left. Oh, I, had, I thought I had it on tip side right. Either way. All right, so I thought, I, yeah, or I screwed up again. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here. When it said tip side left, I thought it meant if I hit that button, it would tip it to the left, but it was telling me what side it was on. So that's the feed trough, huh? Okay, that's rather interesting. Um, anyways, let's go into here. Uh, yep, total mix rations. They are good. Straw, they're good. Water's good. Cleanliness is, is good. Um, hay and silage does not matter. Uh, they got a little extra grass. I got a little bit of slurry. Why do I have slurry here? I should have... They got straw, so that should be manure. Let's go ahead and speed times back at the times five so things can reset. So we have cows. Uh, they're all set for a while. And really, for the amount of si uh, total mix rations I have, that should be good for what I got. That should be good at least until springtime. So let's go ahead and get this back under cover. So it can stay dry. I don't know how long total mix rations would actually be good for if you left it in the mixer. But I have no place to put it. I wonder if total mix rations will decompose on seasons. That I don't know. All right, so let's get everything set back up where it needs to be. In other words, put the wood chipper back on the case Puma. Turn that off. Uh, let's go grab our case International. Yeah, so I don't think we're going to be cutting any grass because I really don't have no place to put it. And even if I got a place to put it, it's going to decompose. I mean, the only place I would put it would be in here, but... Yep, I uh, had no place to put silage either. It is what it is. I just hate wasting grass. So with that being all said, I'm trying to figure out now uh, my plans, because I figured I wasn't going to have time to, well, mow some grass today, but apparently not. Um, let me put the bucket... I guess over here would be good. So I think what we will do is now that we know the carton factory is getting kind of full with some pallets, let's go ahead and grab our straps and head on down to the carton factory. First off, let me check the market here. Just to see how things are selling. Well, they're all in, in they're all in the right range, so they're good enough. And now that we got the cows and everything, the one thing I want to do before I forget, so let's go into the economy page here. Yeah, I want to pay off a hundred thousand dollars more on the loan to bring it down to seven hundred and fifty. So that leaves us with uh, just eighteen grand. 
but we'll get a thousand dollars per hour with all the placeables that we have down well all the placeables um <laughs> the scrap yards paying us uh, 250 the solar panels are paying us 280 and the cell phone tower we're getting 250 per hour so yeah a thousand just over a thousand dollars somewhere in there plus we'll get a little bit of cash from what we're about to sell And now with the weight back here, I should easily be able to take uh, two carton or two pallets at once. I was doing it before and it was okay, but uh, now we we'll, should be able to do it a lot easier. Don't take the first entrance. You want the second. So it will be interesting to see when this switches over to snow, how much snow we're going to get. I mean, the ground's not frozen just, <laughs> it's, it's close to being frozen. So, yeah, I may have to uh, run into the paper pallet, which is not what I want to do. I'm trying to move it along here. Oh, I can't move it. All right. Did I strap it? There we go. I was trying to slide it up to the other one so I can go ahead and grab two at once, but the uh, pallet said, no, nope, you're not pushing me at all. So let's go ahead and let's just start selling the stuff. Uh, let's see, five pallets at four locations. We might get somewhere around $15,000 for all these pallets sitting here. making that bad of a profit today from the carton factory so originally when we put this down we had what 70,000 liters of logs in here about 50,000 liters of wood chips I think and um, and of course free water uh, yes yeah, sometimes this can happen like that when you got multiple pallets on your, your bag for it uh, yeah and then of course I shook my tractor around everywhere I need to sell these before something weird I may go flying here shortly, I don't know. Um, but I've been able to pick up the two pallets pretty well with the weight on the back. Um, it's still, you can still feel the tractor leaning forward a little bit, but not too bad. Yeah, like I was saying though, originally we put down, what, 70,000 liters of logs in here. We still got pretty close to 30,000 liters of logs. Uh, the wood chips, ooh, we are getting low on wood chips. Yeah, we are getting a little wood chips. The water is fine. Come on in. The water is fine. Um, yeah, I probably should bring some logs down and put it in the wood chipper, make some wood chips. Uh, did I did I sell the log that I had in the bubble truck or or how's that going here? Did I sell that or do I still <laughs> do I still have? No, I sold them all. We sold all the logs. No problem. I know where I can get plenty more logs here. Uh, probably what I'll do is I'll cut down some more trees through here for Elaine. For her placeables that she wants to put down. And plus I'll make it just a little bit wider. Uh, this might need to be smoothed out just a little bit. Just to make it kind of even and easy for trucks to come in and out. But, uh, yeah, winter is approaching. Um, and probably soon. Uh. Yeah, it's, it's too bad about the grass, but I mean, I don't know what else to do with it. I can't make hay with it, not with this weather. 
And of course, with winter being here tomorrow, I'm sure the ground's going to be definitely frozen here. So, yeah, the grass will just have to wait until next season. But not too bad for our first our first season here. We got some sheds down. We got we got sheep and cows. So now it's just a matter of uh, the cows doing what they need to do. Uh, some cows are are going to be for meat production, and uh, the other cows we will hopefully get some milk out of them in in the in the meantime. But um, yeah, that feed trough is rather interesting. Uh, one thing I do like about this cow pasture or place it does have lights on it so I'll leave the lights on all the time for him just because I assume this is where our milk is coming from and of course we got slurry have you guys made any manure yet I would assume that you probably have yep that's a little bit uh, that's become become key because I would like to put down a strawberry patch uh, like maybe right over here just needs manure and water uh, but I do need to do some landscaping around here this is kind of uh, needs to be taken care of and uh, yeah this needs to be taken care of over here as well but I don't want to do I don't want to do landscaping here because the problem is uh, by flattening it out here any landscaping you do when you got product on top of the of the uh, earth that you're doing uh, it'll disappear that's what kind of happened here when I tried doing it uh, I did have silage all the way back to here and it disappeared even when it was covered so I'll probably have to wait until the silage is taken care of. I mean, I actually probably... Now, it's getting late in the day for me to do this. I was thinking I could actually sell the silage. And then cut the grass and put grass in here. But that I don't have a trailer. So <laughs> I'm going to need a trailer to transport it. I cannot sell it at the barn. So it's got to be sold down at the, um, at the uh, edge grain vault. For $51 per thousand and what do I have here I uh, turn on the HUD here so 40,000 liters yeah it's just I mean it, it's okay money but it's not it's not great uh, not great at all definitely won't uh, repay for our trailer so I think we'll just leave it as is uh, we'll just have to I mean I got plenty of grass to mow next year when it comes time to it around here um, but yeah, uh, the next day it will be winter for sure. And uh, depending on how much snow I get the rest of the day and into tomorrow, we'll determine what we will be doing. Uh, the only thing we'll be doing in the winter is, well, I hate to say it, cutting down more trees. Uh, and I think I'll be working on a little bit of a lanes driveway and, of course, start working on the road that we have going along. Let's go in here. Let me turn on the light so we can kind of see how big that field looks that we're working on. Did I go by it already? No, I did not. Right there. Thank you. Yep, so our second field will be right over here. And I could extend it even more, but we'll have to I'll have to see how it goes along to winter. Um, I do want to leave some trees between this road and our field here. Uh, the shed will go up uh, let's see this will be well the shed, shed will go on towards the scrapyard side so that we'll, we'll put down a big shed for our truck our logging trailer our harvester maybe we'll have to go up here and also the tree harvester will have to go here and eventually we will put a gate down this road here so no no one can come up the road to the cell phone tower or to our shed just to keep our stuff uh, kind of safe but yeah I think during the winter months for sure our goal well get this road taken care of uh i gotta widen it sell a lot of logs but if the snow gets too deep yeah there might be trouble for the truck to get on through uh, but at least we got a road somewhat through it'll be nice to have that road all set through spring when spring comes and then next year um buy more land just to extend on down to the peninsula to the beach but also next spring we'll have a couple fields to take care of but uh, it's they're small fields so it won't take us too long to do that and uh yeah then we'll start buying some actual i don't want to say actual farm equipment but more equipment uh i got some things in mind i want to go ahead and do i think i may just buy some base game equipment i don't need anything that's going to see the field at 60 miles an hour our fields are not big enough to really need to where i need to 
speed up the process too much. But with the rain and all the work I got done today, I think that's where we're going to wrap it up for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you next time on Green Mountain Forest. But until then, have a good one.